Morning guys, how are we doing? Hope you're good. Um, so, um, just this morning gonna be talking about um, how we don't always get it right. And I think it's important to understand this. Um, I think it's something that we need to address so that you're not putting so much pressure on yourself. So, um, in terms of not always getting it right, it could come down to anything, but I'm gonna talk mainly about fitness and lifestyle. So when it comes to fitness, we usually want to do our best to be in the best shape as possible. Now, when we are trying to be in the best shape possible, you know, we are dads with mortgages, with kids, with uh, responsibilities, with marriages. Um, and I think it's important that we put into perspective about what we're trying to achieve. Now, we're not trying to be stage ready. Okay, where we go on stage in our underpants and we flex our muscles. We're not trying to be pro athletes. Okay, what we are trying to do is, um, morning Michael, how's it going? What we're trying to do is be fit dads. Okay, we're trying to be dads that have energy levels, have fitness levels, can look in the mirror and feel pretty comfortable about what they're wearing, could take their top off by the poolside and feel comfortable, could go down a beach to spend the day with their family and take their top off and feel pretty comfortable about themselves. Um, and I think we also want to try and get the mindset stuff right so that we feel that we're in control of our day, feel that we are a good leader to our family. Now, it doesn't always go to plan. And usually it doesn't go to plan because we have distractions that take us away from trying to achieve that. You know, things such as overwhelm with work, stress from relationships and being a dad responsibilities of trying to make sure that we're earning a living to keep the roof over the head and all of these things kind of build up you know um, and they can end up distracting you and it can end up going peak tongue when it comes to you prioritize prioritizing yourself so let's just say you're distracted by an incident at work that stresses you out um, it, there's an environment that's causing you uh, a great deal of stress and frustration and anxiety and that can knock on your confidence, that can knock on your self-esteem, and that can sort of drag you away from the purpose of what you're trying to achieve, which is trying to um, make sure that you're trying to get fit, making sure that you're making regular workouts, making sure that you're eating well, making sure that nutrition is on point, that your planning's on point, that you're present for your kids and your wife, and you're being the leader that you need to be for them. Um, and because in your brain up here, You've got this negative experience going on in the office you're kind of just going i'm just not going to bother training right now i'm going to sort of take myself away from that environment that positive environment and almost sometimes it can be classed as self-sabotage you know have a couple of drinks emotionally eat um, and sometimes we get it wrong in that aspect you know so sometimes we get distracted uh, and it doesn't happen for us sometimes we go on holiday and uh, we come back and we just don't hit uh, the path running. You know, before we went on holiday, I think it was sweet. We reached all our goals and our targets. Um, but when you come back, it was very difficult for you to get back into routine and structure. It might have taken two, three weeks. You might have continued the holiday um, exploits of having a few drinky poos or eating poorly, making poor decisions. And that's just continued right through to... Um, uh, normal life so you're trying to struggle to find routine okay other aspects could be um, the fact that you're just not planning the fact that maybe you've come a, a little bit lazy or complacent um, and there's all sorts of factors you know you could go on whatever sort of your life dictates there's kind of like distractions that are taking you away and you're not quite getting it right you know it's happened to me before um, probably over a year ago I was sacrificing health for business um, so instead of working out, I thought I'd be more productive in the fact that I would go home and spend an hour in front of the computer working. And after that hour had finished, because I was so stressed and overwhelmed, I wasn't really achieving much. Um, and I was sacrificing health. Now, I think one of the reasons that we don't prioritise ourselves and our health is because we feel that there's more important things out there to concentrate on. Um, such as work commitments, such as time. Uh, time priority um, prioritizing yourself maybe a lack of purpose maybe a lack of fulfillment those things sort of kind of come to mind 
when we're not really on it. Now, what you have to do is kind of figure out what you want. So, you know, I, I, and I think what you also have to figure out is up here is being really clear on your purpose. You know, so every time you wake up the hour earlier than you are meant to, you know, what is the purpose to do that? Now, I don't start work here till six with my guys and I still got up at half four, so that's 90 minutes before. I could have got up at 5.40 and drove straight down here and just taken the class. But I feel that my purpose is obviously in my vision that we're trying to work towards for people joining our brotherhood. Um, and I wanna make sure that I'm in the best condition that I can be up here and physically. So I do my morning mobility, my morning walk with these dogs, doing my live feed, chatting uh, with you guys, interacting with you guys, kind of getting me in the right frame of mind. That then sort of sets up me up for the day for all the work that I have to do to make sure that I'm helping all of these guys uh, and dads in the Brotherhood program. So that's my vision. But whereas before, I never used to have that, you know, and part of that vision is me being fit and healthy, as making sure that I prioritize time to, for health and fitness, once I finish with these guys, I'll go for my run. Yesterday it was the gym, then there's jujitsu. So I'm focusing on that aspect of my life. Remember the four aspects that we have. Business, we have health, personal development, and relationships. And I think those four aspects and models cover life. So if we are touching each one of those a day, then I feel that we're moving in the right direction. If you're missing two or three of those points of those models, then I feel that we're sort of missing a key point, a key part of your development in moving forwards. And most of the time, most people will end up missing health because it's really easy to say, I'll do that another time. I won't bother with that right now. We'll come back to that on Monday. And as my post said yesterday, you can't keep fucking falling back on Monday as your excuse for stuffing your face with cake or making an excuse that you have no time. So as a little task, what I would sort of recommend that you try and do is um, kind of look at the rest of the week, kind of spend a little time um, planning tonight, this afternoon, this morning, and kind of planning in three aspects, three points for the week. See if you can find 10, 15 or 20 minutes to do some type of activity, it doesn't matter what it is. You go for a fucking walk, go for a swim, go to the gym, do a hit workout, do whatever it's gonna be. So some type of small workout. Okay, second one is find out what your uh, top three tasks are for each day. So structure your days between now and Monday or now and Sunday. Structure your days so you know exactly what you're doing on the hour, every hour, and you're in control. So as soon as you feel that you're in control and you're well planned and you're structured, you feel a little bit more organized. You feel a little bit more that you're planning in and factoring in your workouts, you're factoring in date night, you're factoring in the priorities in your job, you're factoring in um, your personal development, whether that's listening to a podcast, watching your video to develop you, listening to videos like this, um, and making sure that you're drinking two to three liters of water so that you're not dehydrated, so you're not lethargic, and so that your energy levels are up and high. And it's just about starting. It's just about starting. Don't let yourself get distracted from the main goal. You are the priority. Everything that you do as a man, as a dad, okay, to make sure that you, okay, are up there on the top of the priority list is the main thing that you need to be focusing on. Because if you're not right, then the job that you're in is not gonna be good enough and you're not gonna be happy and you're not gonna be a leader to your family and you're not gonna be looking after your health when you really need it in 10 years. Because how you live your life now, okay, will dictate the quality of your life in 10 to 15 years from now. How you live your life now will dictate the quality of your life in 10 to 15 years from now. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave you with that quote. Don't get distracted, stay consistent, stay disciplined and focus on you. All right, guys, hope you have a great day.